It's the flow for Friday night sports show. And we're heading west now to the Air Peninsula to find out what's been going on there in Eastern Air and Great Flinders netball. Joe Franklin, the queen of Air Peninsula netball, joins me on the line. How are you, Joe? I'm doing really well, thanks, Jason. Yourself? I'm going beautifully, thank you. Awesome. Now awesome. let's uh, let's get straight into Central Air United. Uh, we're going to start with Eastern Air. They took on the all conquering Eastern Rangers, who beat them in the A grade fairly comfortably in the end, forty six to twenty. But uh, just looking across some of the other results for the day, I think Central Air United have had a pretty successful day. Yeah, I certainly think they uh, they did. And uh, look, their A grades a young side, uh, very inexperienced, as in playing together. It's going to take them a little while to gel. And uh, Beth, of course, taking on the role and you know a new coach, and it's never easy. And uh, we mentioned last week about how many different clubs the girls have come from and how many different associations. And so it is going to take them just a little while. But they certainly do have some strengths in um, some of their C and C2s and C3s. Um, So, you know, and a couple of their junior sides, they're going to only get better as well. So, yeah, I think they had a relatively successful day and they certainly enjoyed the competition of the day and they certainly enjoyed the um, camaraderie, I suppose you would say, um, that was uh, offered to them uh, on the day. So, uh, yeah, look, and Eastern Rangers, a very good side, a very good side. They, uh, once again, will be the ones to beat in Eastern uh, here, I would think. Yeah, it looks that way. Across the board, uh, they only had the one win on the day, Central Air, and that was in the E2s. Yep. They had yep. a solid win there. But what they did do is they had a draw in the C grade um, yep. and they drew a grand final crowd to Rudell, from what we're told, um, a, a ridiculous figure through the gate. So obviously the interest That's levels have peaked. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, people are just thriving. (laughs) They just really want to get out and see some sport. And that was very evident all grounds uh, last Saturday. Uh, Just absolutely uh, overrun. (laughs) There was not a ground that hosted um, a game that it uh, that it wasn't packed out. It was just amazing. In fact, uh, along the line, I think we heard that 350 meals were served out up at Wirrala. Yeah. So, you know, just uh, uh, and similar numbers around about um, the uh, the other home ground. So, yeah, it's just amazing. But, yeah, look, Central Air, they will certainly grow. They will grow. There's no doubt about that. They will uh, – They'll get their act together, so to speak, and um, definitely be um, be competitive um, as the season goes along. And uh, just the fact that they're able to field as many teams as what they are and uh, help some of the help the Eastern Air competition um, with numbers is just fantastic. Spot on. Uh, if we have a look at the other A grade game too, uh, just quickly, that was Kimber District taking on Cow, and it was Kimber District's very comfortably so, fifty eight to twenty four. So it looks as though we're going to have that. Competition split again. Central Air oh, might be yeah. the ones that uh, can improve as the season goes on, but it looks as though it's going to be Kimber Districts and Eastern Rangers again. Yeah, it certainly does. And uh, uh, I mentioned last week that um, Cow putting together a whole new look side, mm. a fair bit of youth in there, and they will take a little while to gel. Uh, Kimber have introduced uh, a couple of juniors, a couple of recruits, um, but uh, really just uh, moving along like clockwork with Megan at the helm there. So, uh, yeah, they will be – it will be very interesting to see them come up against Rangers in a few weeks' time. Yes, it will. Uh, so this weekend's round of matches, uh, Central Air United have the bye, have the week off. They do. Yes. Kimber Districts will play Ports, their first game of the year at Kimber, and obviously Kimber Districts will start favourites, you would think. Oh, they certainly will. But um, Ports have been um, actually out and about, and they've actually recruited quite a few, and they've actually done quite well with some of the ones that they've recruited. Um, Missy Hartwig and uh, Abby Harris take on the coaching roles there, and um, they've recruited uh, Ruby Green. Hannah Wolford comes back into uh, the side. Uh, very, very handy centre quarter there. Abby Harris comes back. They've recruited Courtney Grigg, uh, Jordan Curtis, and um, Helene Bilski. So they've actually done quite well, and um, I was just talking to uh, Missy before, and uh, they're quite excited about what they're going to be able to put together. And whilst they know that Kimber, you know, uh, Jess Clements, and young Lucy Klingberg, who has really come along in leaps and bounds, she's in the academy um, in goals, and then they've got uh, Alyssa Moore to back them up in there as well. 
Saran Shippard, Jordan McCullum, Chelsea Wolford can't get a much more experienced centre court than that. And uh, Shai has and uh, Amber Pangeli in defence. So they know that they're up against it. They certainly know that. Um, but, uh, yeah, some fresh blood in there and uh, they're all enthusiastic and uh, ready to give uh, a real crack against um, Kimber on um, tomorrow. I like that. Uh, good luck to my port skills. Uh, on Anzac Day, yeah. the Eastern Rangers get the honour of hosting the Anzac Clash uh, between themselves and Cal. Uh, this should be uh, a, a beautiful day. It's a fantastic day, but the Rangers will win the A grade, you would think. Oh, yeah, they will. And it's at Cleve, which is really great. Um, like They'll get to uh, to host a game there with their new club rooms, and just everything that's happening up there is just fantastic, and they're really, really looking forward to doing that, uh, and on such a uh, auspicious occasion as well. And again, look, Cow will build on last week's effort. There's no doubt about that, but the Rangers are so tall. Um, Nick Symes and Tamika ran in goals. Uh, they have Lauren Symes and Jordan Hooper, who is new to them, who is over six foot tall. Um, she actually is uh, Brent Gray's um, partner, and uh, she's as tall as him. So that just goes to tell you how tall they get these uh, she kids is. out Did at Sims Farm. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Stand them in compost. <laughs> and, uh, yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then, you know, Kate um, Semelec and uh, uh, Nia Gillings and uh, Tessa Dunn in the centre court. There's just height from one end to the other there. And so Cal are going to really have to work around that. Uh, I'm sure that Tracy will have done that at training. Um, and, uh, yeah, very interesting game. But I just, yeah, Rangers too tall, too strong, and probably just way more settled at the moment than what uh, the Cal side are. Certainly looks that way. Uh, let's move down to Great Flinders Netball now and Elliston Western Districts or Elliston Districts as we're calling them this yes. year, the combined unit. They took on Tumby Bay, their first game in Great Flinders Netball against the reigning 2019 Premiers. And we got what we thought we were going to get out of this one, an Elliston District's clean sweep of the senior grades, including a 43-28 to goal win in the A grade. Yeah, absolutely a clean sweep. And uh, they certainly uh, <laughs> did very well, very tall. They are actually a very tall side. Uh, and uh, Tumby really struggled with that. Also, the fact that Tumby are putting together um, a whole new look side, um, several missing from their premiership side. And so they really did struggle a little bit at times, um, just with their combinations and just knowing where each other are. Surprisingly, Ellison, who uh, Kate says still have lots to work on, uh, actually looked like they uh, had spent a bit more time together and uh, really did uh, look the goods and are going to be very tough. There's no question about that. Um, Well, to be honest, Joe, they've spent the last five or six seasons scouting each other, so they should know how each other plays. (laughs) Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, like Kate said, they've got plenty to work with. Uh, but, um, yes, yeah, certainly they were very strong in all of the grades, senior grades um, down in Tumby. But, they were again, they were grateful for the um, warm welcome that they got and a, a huge crowd, just a huge crowd um, that, uh, that attended the day as well. So uh, all goes well there, I think. And uh, as we'll get to later, they actually will host their first home game um, this week. They will, and good on the red and whites. Fantastic performance from... The girls on the day, and uh, if we have a look at the other game now, which was uh, played in Cummins, it was yeah. Cougars absolutely destroying Air United, sixty-eight to thirteen. That's um, oh, that's not what we really want to see at uh, at A grade level, Joe. I wouldn't have thought. No, it's not. And um, look, Air United, uh, they really are putting together a whole new group of players. Um, they're having to um, look at some of their juniors really standing up and um, it'll take them a fair while to uh, to find their feet, especially against um, the Cougars um, outfit. They had a, a lot of experience, you know, several, at least three EP players um, in that Cougar side. So um, yeah, Air United were uh, pushing it uphill, basically. And uh, um, Cougars certainly, uh, you know, they're putting together a bit of a new look side as well. None of the, those girls have actually played together as such before, um, but with the experience that they've got, they were, yeah, just very, very good. And certainly, it will be very interesting this week. Oh, will it? What? I can't wait for this. I'm going to rattle through the other games first. Lock yeah, in United, yeah. Atlanta. Um, let's. I mean, I'm not sure about this one. Lock United, Atlanta. I oh. guess we haven't seen either of them yet, so we don't really know. 
No, we don't. Other than the fact that United Atlanta um, are really missing several players, um, none the least Cassie, uh, Cassie Maxfield, um, who's uh, just had a little baby boy, uh, Cherie Watson, Alyssa Skinner, Carolyn Manners and Sarah Dyer are all out of their time. Yeah, they, they really are putting together a new look side, as I've said, for several of the teams. But um, they, big holes, those girls leave big holes in that Yolanda side. So they will be putting together, they have got some youth that they are bringing into that side and they will certainly be uh, looking at developing that youth and uh, making sure that they can uh, be comp- as competitive as they possibly can be. Locke have got, uh, Tara Welsh has gone to oh. uh, Locke and uh, and uh, having a little stint up there and coaching their A grade and she's really looking forward to it. They've actually put together not uh, a bad looking team. They've got um, Ella Reid, Christy Zerk has come back um, from uh, being away and uh, she will uh, line up in goals with Ella and uh, then they've got um, a pretty handy centre court this season with Tanya Habner, Sarah Hurrell and Millie Morton. So there's a fair bit of experience in there and a fair bit of skill as far as that goes. And then uh, Sarah Skinner, um, she'll be the anchor in defence um, at goalkeeper and uh, they recruited Eliza Graham. Um, she probably will fill in around goal defence. But one of the other big ins that they've got is Whitney uh, Wright or Whitney Micken that was. Uh, she is out at the moment with seeding if it actually ends up with enough rain. Uh, she, so she'll sort of be missing for the, for the first round but put her in there uh, later in the season and that will be a uh, pretty competitive looking outfit. Absolutely, Will. Uh, good stuff. So there you go. Uh, lock for me. And yeah. uh, I think they'll get up. Ramblers and yeah, Summy. Yeah, yeah. Ramblers and Summy Bay, Joe. Now, you know Ramblers yeah. as well as anyone. Uh, we know what Summy Bay can do. Um, so this should be a beauty as well. What a round we've got. Oh, this is a huge round, a huge round. Look, Ramblers, um, it's their first hit out and uh, under their new rookie coach uh, in Keely Mason. But uh, they are really looking not too bad either. We, uh, Keely and Matilda in goals, uh, Matilda Crettenden in goals. Uh, you know, so there's a bit of height in there. So uh, they're looking forward to being able to make sure that they finish off the hard work of uh, their centre quarters and their defenders. Uh, some some young blood in there, Lily Nettle, Sydney Corton, uh, Played a couple of seasons ago um, and are now really looking to uh, stand up. Abby Darlots will help them out through the centre court. And um, Abby Lee Burrows and um, Kira Simons will uh, bring up their defence end along with Young Gun, um, who uh, is going to uh, to help them out as well in there. So, they're yeah, they're sort of like they're looking the goods and tummy. Well, you never ever write them off, do we? Like, you know, right. they're going to give it 100% all the time. Stacey Curtis doesn't know how to give up. Uh, they've been able to bring in young Kennedy McNamara into their uh, centre court. Um, Melfi Archie has uh, come in, into the Tumby Bay side as well. So, yeah, they've got a couple in there that are pretty handy. Um, Sarah Laurie is going to be in goals with uh, Alex. So, um, yeah, that. It'll be very interesting matchups all over the court there. And uh, oh, perhaps I better go with Kills, do you think? <laughs> I think you better. I think you better. Uh, we'll get on to the last, the last match. This one, of course, will be at Elliston. And I'll tell you what, uh, the AP Netball Academy uh, coaches – might just want to get up and watch this because it's like a like an intra academy trial game. This one, uh, Elliston Districts <laughs> taking on Cummins Capini Cougars. You won't see many more high standard games than net, of netball on the EP than this one. No, you will not. You will not. Um, it match up all over, like unbelievable. If you actually um, think about the fact that um, in the Cougars. Side. Um, in the defence end, you've got um, BJ Maroney, uh, who will be doing standing a Elliston District a debutant, uh, 13 years old, young Adele Shepard, oh. a Shepherd. She has been training with them for a little while. Uh, she turns 14 next week. Um, unfortunately for them, Kate Lowby is missing at a wedding this week. So um, Adele's going to get her chance, and I'm sure she'll grab it and uh, and run with it. So that will be a really interesting match up there. Um, uh, Zali Newton will uh, be in goals with uh, with Adele, so that will be uh, good for her because Zali, um, a renowned goaler, so uh, that will be good in there. And the, the match up through the centre courts, Morgan McDonald, Jack Green, Caitlin Jacobs and Lily Matner, oh. the um, Cougars along against Lorena, he- Lorena Heberman, Charlie Manane and Zoe Phelps, there will be no body taking a backward step through there. 
<laughs> it will be on. It will be on. And then, you know, you've got in the goals, you've got uh, like Hannah, uh, young Hannah Green is going to um, match up with the, or going to uh, work with uh, Ella Wed. Uh, you know, she tells me she's getting older and a little bit slower. So she's now got to do the shooting, the goal shooters role. But uh, she certainly is more than capable of doing that. Uh, and Natasha Paul and uh, Kelsey Hull will take on um, the job of trying to negate those two goalers. So it is just going to be a tough, tight, contest and absolutely um, whoever is going to be uh, picking the EP senior side uh, for next year will want to watch that game. Mm-hmm. Joe, as you know uh, from shows past in uh, different settings uh, from years gone by, um, I've got a problem here because Western Districts <laughs> were my team in Midwest and Cougars were my team in Great Flinders. So, in fact, there's um, some rather incriminating photos of me getting around in a Cougars yes. netball yeah, we won't, yeah. we won't talk too much no, about that anymore. No, we won't do that, no. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who to tip here. Um, oh, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go with my Cougars girls. Oh, yeah. Look, I just reckon at the moment they've probably just got a little bit – they're just a little bit more settled, um, know each other's game a little bit better, um, and I just think that might get them over the line. Mind you, they've got to travel to Ellison. Ellison hosting their very first uh, yes. Great Fenders game and we know that they do very well on their home court um, but just I reckon there'll be one or two goals in it. It should be a beauty. Uh, cracking round of matches in Air Peninsula Netball, Great Flinders and Eastern Air. Uh, Joe, enjoy it. Enjoy Anzac Day. Thanks for joining us on the Flow Friday Night Sports Show. No worries. Thanks Jason. Have a great weekend.